Hey, what's up guys? It's Revo here, and in this video we will be going over Dota 2 uh, launch options. Okay, so my first video I showed you how to get there, but we're going to do it again. You want to go to Steam, go to Library, go to Dota 2, Properties, and Set Launch Options. Okay, so I already have mine entered here. Um, this is going to be pretty brief, but... Uh, but uh, these options are useful, okay? In the first one, first video I showed you was uh, the dash console, okay? Now, uh, just a note here, these have to be spaced out with dashes in front of them in order for them to work properly. Uh, now, console is going to enable your console in game. And then we have no vid. Now, no vid's going to take out that intro video of that, uh, that bald guy, that random bald guy in the beginning uh, that kind of takes up a lot of the time for you to get back into the game if you get disconnected or something like that so that's useful I like that it, uh, it enables me to get back in the game quicker and you have the, this these kind of three commands here these are uh, together they disable um, mouse acceleration okay so in a game like counter-strike for example uh, mouse acceleration can be useful if you're sniping or something like that. I know I, I love it because I can just twitch and it's real quick and I can, you know, get a headshot with an op. But in Dota 2, you kind of don't want to have, or depending on who you are, but I, I personally don't want to have the acceleration on. I want to make sure that where I move my mouse is where uh, the pointer is going to go so that I can be precise. Uh, everyone knows what it's like to misclick an ultimate or something like that and it really just, it sucks. Or if you want to deny a teammate or something like that and be really specific. Uh, then we have high here, um, and typing that in will give Dota 2 uh, priority in your CPU usage, so you can make sure that it's running properly. Uh, this is nice if you are like me and you have a lot of uh, windows open in the background that are going to take away from the CPU usage of Dota 2. And then uh, this last bit of information here is just in relation to the resolution, okay? So um, and how the uh, the game is displayed. So you type in you can type in windowed which will naturally uh, have Dota 2 run in a windowed mode which is going to combat a lot of those alt tabbing problems some people have been having I've never had a, an issue with it personally but I have I've found a lot of people or I've seen a lot of people uh, having that issue so uh, doing the windowed mode is nice and then you can actually set your width and your height of your monitor or the or if if you don't want it to be full screen you can set it to a smaller resolution uh, I personally just do the whole screen because I like to, you know, I want it to be the entire screen. And then, of course, you can do, uh, over here, you can do no border. Okay, so dash no border. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the window uh, appear as though it's in-game and not an actual window. So it kind of gets rid of that top bar with the X and the, the, the square and the, the little line to minimize it. Okay, so that should fix, um, or that should make it much easier to alt-tab and do other things while you're playing or if you want to do something real fast like if you're looking at a guide or you want to respond to a message or something like that okay guys so that is uh that's going to conclude the launch options uh expect a video very very soon about kind of demonstrating a lot of the console commands in game okay thanks a lot guys uh, if you like the video uh, please go ahead and like it uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more like this and uh, always appreciated uh, is the uh, feedback that I'm getting. Really appreciating that. That's helping me a lot to uh, make uh, better videos. So thanks a lot, guys.